morning, motorcycles, or good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in wherever you guys are tuning from. At home, at work, lunch break, dinner break, on a damn toilet. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you guys are watching from. And uh, I hope you guys are staying healthy and staying busy with life and taking care of your family. Tony here, AKA Bears G, checking in all the way from San Diego Bay, back at Harbor Island again. It is currently 7.23 a.m. Yeah, kind of a late start. You guys you guys know me, I usually start around 5, 30, 6 a.m. But I had plans this morning with my kids, but they didn't want to wake up to go fish with me. So I'm out here by myself in San Diego Bay, back at Harbor Island. As you can see, right behind me. Coronado Bridge, downtown skyline, all that good jazz right there. We got a little bit of a marine layer coming in this morning. I think it's gonna be pretty warm later, but we will see. So I'm gonna hop right into it, guys. Let's pull the tie chart and see what I am working with today. Currently, 7.24 a.m. now, and we are fishing the incoming tide. And it looks like it's about a slack out at 8.14 a.m. at 4.7 feet. It's currently at 4.53 feet and uh, 71 degrees. So. Hopefully we stick something because last week I came out with my friend Jabal, Richmond and my son. We caught Spotties, a legal halibut, and a Bonita. So main reason why I'm back out here at Harbor Island again is because I'm trying to stick some, some good Bonito for, uh, for moms at home. And maybe a macro because over at the BG Fishing Community, Kevin managed to land some macro out here in San Diego Bay. So maybe they're back, maybe they're not, but we will see. So yeah, before I hop into it and slap you guys on my chest, how are you guys doing? How's the fam? If you guys been fishing Mission Bay, San Diego Bay, anywhere in the world, let me know in the comments below what has been working for you guys and what has not been working for you guys. And uh, how are you guys doing? Let me know. Let's start a conversation below. And also, check out the BG Fishing Community over on Facebook. We're pretty active on there and we like to share our stories, our catches, all the good jazz. But uh, let's wrap that up right there. Hop right into it, guys. So, you guys sit tight. Don't forget to wipe and enjoy the show. Let's go. Tie that. Got some frays right there. Let's see what we have in this bag of juiciness right here. Ooh, let's do this one. This one is the Major Craft Jake Para 20 gram washi color right there. Let's see the model number. This is the JPS 20 number 27 Blue Iwashi. Right there, just gonna get some of the stick. Water is nice and calm and nice and high. I'm gonna cast this about 20 15 times. If I don't get anything, I'll probably uh, slap on a jerk bait, see what's popping on here. It's been a while since I caught anything on a jerk bait. I think my first fish was a barracuda on a jerk bait of uh, 2024. Ooh, we got boils way out there, baby. Way out there. Oh man, I don't think I can get it that far. I know for a fact they're here, but they're they're kind of further out. There's got to be a way to get to them. Maybe I throw on a heavier one. We'll see. Full cool send forty. <laughs> see what happens. I've thrown 60 gram in the bay before. No trouble in the rear, just on the head. Man, the water looks amazing, but conditions aren't right. I'm gonna drive towards the east end and see if there's anything down that way because the water here is really nice, but there's just nothing committing. I saw maybe two or three boils. A group to my left caught, I think, two fish. I saw a halibut get pulled up, a small one. And I think a small spotty. 
So I'm going to make the executive decision and cruise to the east end and see if there's parking and hopefully stick something. All right, let's go. Boop. All right, well, I drove all the way to the Island Prime spot. Tons of fishermen over there. No parking. Made my way back towards the uh, Tom Ham side and no parking. So I decided to dock into, uh, well, drive into the parking lot over here at the park area. You guys check it out. If you guys are familiar with this area, this is where I usually soak bait. A lot of people don't like it here. I love it here because there's a bathroom nearby, there's shade, grass, chill, relax with the family. But today, I'm not doing that. Today I'm trying to catch some bonito, some macro, smelt, anything really, anything that swims. So we will see what San Diego Bay has to offer because this is a tough crowd right now. Everyone around me is catching fish but me. So I'm probably throwing something wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'll switch over to the drop shot and maybe I'll stick something. Because you guys already know the motto. Big or small, I'm going to try to catch them all. all. right, let's get back to it. Let's go. There it is. Finally. Oh, two max. Finally guys, I got the max. It's what I've been looking for. Not a lot of people get excited the way I do for over macro, but I will take it. All right, let's get the bucket ready. They're moving in, I'll tell you that. They are moving in. Guys are hooking up left to right right now. It has been a while since I caught macro, guys. I am super excited. I will continue to try and catch them. Keep them for moms. F it. Full send. You know, I saw some boils out there. I had to get my line straight out there. Alright, it is about an hour and 10 minutes into fishing. 8.43 a.m. Tide should be shifting already, going out. Last week we were out here till noon, and that's when the bike kind of picked up. But not this time around. I only got about another hour to fish before daddy duty calls. As you guys know, I have been working out of town. So I'm only in San Diego for a day or two, and I gotta dip out again. And switch over to 15 gram big bar micro slim these micro slims 15 to 10 gram is one of the most popular and best sizes of irons to fish here in the bay if you can get your hands on them i i do it get them try to match the hatch Sure. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I saw you hook up and I saw a little boil. Uh, when you caught the, when you doubled up, it came onto my side. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that earlier when I was bagging it up right there. Thank you, man. Uh -huh. Mom's gonna be happy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Get yeah, it coming in. I'm trying to get bonito, but Smacko will do. Uh, one of the videos here earlier. 
Early, early morning? Like early, early morning? Yeah, my son got one last week around noon. Oh, okay. So I'm hoping they'll be around. Right. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yes, sir. I saw you. <laughs> I saw you last night. And that's why I came down here. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to motivate you to come out. I'll describe it like you do. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah, thanks, man. No problem. The tide's moving a lot more now, so maybe that will help us out a bit. Usually when there's a lot of movement in the water, the fish moves with it. Oh, that was a bite. There it is. Felt heavy, now I got light, maybe it came off. Yeah, it came off. Damn it. Oh no, it's on there. <laughs> Lizard fish. That's a big old lizard fish. That's a lizard fish? Yeah, huge. I didn't know they get that big. Uh, well, I've caught one double the size like years ago, but it's been a long time since I caught something this big. Holy crap. <laughs> this thing's huge. Yo, Tony. Hey, what's up, what's dude? Up, dude? That was you over there, huh? All the way left? Yeah. But like in front of the stoplight kind of thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I drove by and I was like, I recognize that head. <laughs> <laughs> but there was no parking, so. Yeah. You get anything? Yeah. A uh, bunch of bass and a bunch of mackerels. Mackerels? Yeah. I'm trying to get some. Caught four already. Yeah. But... Um, Nigel was catching bonitos here on Sunday on the, the, the two structures. Okay. I caught, my son caught one uh, last week. Oh, uh, right, right down there. Oh. Actually, actually, no, right here. Two parking lots now. Yeah. I, I the day like, after you went to Mission Bay uh, with uh, Jared. Yeah, yeah. I was catching them at Mission Bay every time I went there. I didn't know they were at Harbor until Sunday. But yeah, yeah Jared's coming through. He's, he's, he's still trying to get a bonito. <laughs> still trying to? Yeah. Look how big this lizard fish is. Yeah, I was like, what the heck is that? It's huge. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I should. I'm just let it go. <laughs> I haven't seen a lizard fish in a long time. Yeah, same here, but look how big it is. This thing is huge. Bigger than my macros. <laughs> this thing yeah. is huge. It's like 11 inches. Holy crap. <laughs> when I uh, was pulling up, I was like, is that a small bonito or what is that? No, it's, uh, it's probably one of the biggest lizard fish I've caught in a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, good luck, man. Thanks, dude. He lives to see another day. What a morning. It was a long one. I mean, I got out here around 7.30. It is currently 10.15 a.m. Pretty slow this morning, but the fish was biting. So I'm closing out right there. I'm ending the day right there, actually. But did manage to harvest some macro for moms at home. Got a handful right here. You guys can see all that. I did lose a couple, but hey, fishing is fishing. Can't catch them all, can't beat them all, can't win them all. So you guys are asking, what do I do with the lures at the end of the day? Like my irons, my jerk baits, my hooks and all that stuff. So I got a little waterproof can right here. Let me show you guys real quick. So I keep everything in here. I keep all my used bait, jerk baits, irons, soft plastics, ow, ow. <laughs> all up in here. And when I take it home, I soak them in the same can with uh, Dawn soap and air dry them. Well, I scrub them with uh, like a nylon brush. Then I put them on a paper plate and let them air dry. And that has been working very well for me. And I usually do it right when I get home. But the longest I would go without doing it is about 
two days, then you start seeing like corrosion and all that stuff on there. And that's what you want to avoid. But yeah, man, um, well, it's about to turn on right now. Bam, there it is, a backup camera. Not sponsored, Wolfbox. It's a good investment when there's crazy drivers out there because it records the front and rear of your vehicle. Sounds like an ad, but yeah. Um, overall today was pretty good. I mean, it started off super slow. I started on the Tom Ham side and I didn't catch anything. I think I got like one or two bites. I don't really remember. And I made the executive decision and tried to move over to Island Prime. No parking whatsoever. There was tons of fishermen out here. I counted maybe about 20, 25, 30 fishermen out here along the whole shoreline. So I said, F it. Drove back to the park, parked and saw a couple people fishing. Saw a guy pull up a, a halibut. I was like, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Chuck irons a couple times and sure enough, two for one deal with the macro, baby. I will take it. Hey, quiet back there. But uh, overall, it was fun. I mean, I came out to catch Bonito and Macro. Unfortunately, no Bonito, but I did catch the Macro, so I'm pretty damn excited about that. They are coming in the bay. Not as thick as I want them to be, but they're coming in, and it's super fun to get them on irons. If you guys never caught them on irons before, I encourage you guys to get out there and give it a shot. 15 grams, 7 grams. Rude. Uh, 15 grams, 7 grams, 10 grams. 20 gram they all work as long as you can get it out there and work all the columns of the water like you can work the bottom middle top whatever they're out there if they're gonna bite they're gonna bite that's just how it is macro tend to bite anything and everything if they're around they'll bite i mean they gotta eat right you know what's the best part of this you're you're killing me <laughs> hold on <laughs> the best part of all this is running into you guys out here and you guys are catching mackerel and you guys are donating it to my mom. I freaking love that. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Another one. Thank you. I didn't get your name. What was your name? Uh, Mitsu. Mitsu? Yeah. Uh, Tony, man. Tony. Thank, thanks again, brother. I appreciate it. Hopefully you get that bonito. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks a lot, brother. Good luck. That's like the third one he gave me already. Pretty cool. Again, thank you, Mitsu, for uh, hooking it up for moms. <laughs> but yeah, the, like I said, the best part about being out here is running into you guys out here, and you guys are, you know, giving me props, dabs, t sharing stories, and all that stuff out here, and that uh, you guys are letting me know. I encourage you guys to get out here, try new things, and have a good time by yourself, with your family, with your kids, with your loved ones. I appreciate that and I appreciate all you guys. Truly, you guys are the true MVPs. And I couldn't do it without you guys. Remember that, all right? Especially the ones on the toilet, man. Shout out to you guys for spending your vulnerable time <laughs> watching my videos. But yeah, enough of that, man. I hope you guys get out here whenever you guys can. You know, summer's ending, but it's San Diego. It feels like it's summer year round out here. Fish is coming in hot. I mean, the bite's picking up. I know it's been slow for some of you guys out there, but. It's picking up right now and hopefully the macro bite picks up along with the bonito and barracuda bite and i am going to try to get some of my friends to come out with me especially the guys that are new to fishing they've been itching to fish the stars never align for some reason but we did plan a day sometime next week to come out and hopefully put them on their first ever macro and you know try to have a good time but yeah enough of that rambling it's kind of all over the damn place oh my god he's hooked up again <laughs> pretty damn cool check it out There he is, right there. Boop, boop. Nice one. I'm pretty sure he's throwing a slow pitch. I know the bikes are to pick up when I leave, but it is 10.20 now, and I do gotta get my weekend started. Uh, spend some time with family, and I know you guys understand what I mean, so. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna close it up right there. Thank you so much for watching, especially the guys on the toilet, especially you wonderful anglers out here that I run into. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So, that's pretty much it right there, guys. As always, good fishing, and peace the hell out.